Hi everyone, so I'm back to share another journal with you and this journal is um, a little mini journal and I've used uh, elements from Vintage Days from Artie Mays. I'm still working on using my stash whilst I'm waiting for my inks to turn up. Um, but before I crack on with it all, I have done a 15% uh, discount code in my shop and I will, um, my shop is linked below but I will put the code below as well. So it's 15% discount. The code is JAN21 and it's from uh, the 12th of January to the 14th of January. And then I put all the digitals that I have in my shop down to 99p. That's 99p, that's UK money. Um, all my um, all my prices are in um, British, the British pound. So um, PayPal does actually, if you're buying from overseas, uh, international PayPal does actually show you what it is before you actually pay so um, yeah 99p not sure what that is in dollars or whatever currency you are in and around the world so like I said I'll put that code below and back to the journal so um, yeah little journal lovely feels great in your hands excuse my inky fingers I've been playing around with inks and all sorts of stuff um I've made a tag I've actually also used some um tag fabrication which is from um Artie Mays and Tracy Fox so I made this tag for the front cover it's a cardstock cover we have um uh, it measures six and a quarter by four, one signature, 44 pages front and back. I've done lots of little um, uh, clusters and things like that in here. It was a lot of fun pulling out all the bits from a big envelope. Um, I did actually have some full pages, but I didn't have enough to make an actual journal, um, you know, using all the, dig the full digital pages. So I have just made lots of pockets, um, apart from this page that I could use. Um, it's stitched all the way around this, including the cardstock, there's three layers there and this being coffee dyed. So this is from the kit. Then I sat and made these little clusters and pulled out, I've got a little tub and it's got all the little elements from loads of different kits. But these are all either from Artie Mays or from the tag fabrication. Done a little bit of stamping with my kind of crackled stamp and it's um, from Kaiser Craft. Uh, it's not even in its right box, not box, um, packaging otherwise I would show you. <laughs> um, these are the little, and I, I'm not sure if these actually come with the kit. I know Andrea done some as a freebie, so I can't remember which, you know, if it's actually from the kit or a freebie, these little like domino sized images. There is some vintage music paper, there's other scraps there, there's more. These pages are from that actual kit. This is Artie Mays, I think that's a freebie, and that's from maybe one of our other kits. <clears throat> so we've got some um, ephemera from that kit as well. Oh, this is from um, the old design shop, and that is on Etsy, it's not a freebie. So I collaged all these tags and then used the, like, the cabinet cards from that kit vintage days um just to put on the top like i said four pin stitch they're, they're quite thick because there's obviously cardstock the collaging and then lined paper at the back so that goes in there got some stamping there and some of that crackle again i've made another little topper that's gone on this pocket there's just like one two three four four layers of um, different papers this is artemis um that's the little domino size and then this again I think that's a freebie inside the pocket you have a bingo card which is from that kit this is from the old design shop on Etsy and then this is just a little double journal card some stamping a tab another corner tuck got some stamping there Hop on and frame yes <laughs> uh, another that's a alterations tag from the old design shop this is from Artie Mays, um the actual vintage days kit another collage tag with the little images from the kit this is from the kit as well another little tag that i made using some of the tag fabric tag fabrication tags and just pop this lady on this is an Artie Mays. i think it's um um what's it called again Beautiful ladies or something like that. Beautiful women. And that goes on there. Um, 
use the little i never really use these for, so i don't know why but i decided to use them because i actually got i've actually got quite a few and i made a double layered tag there i've got a top pocket this was um part of one of the pages and i just made that into a tag i used the decorative scissors there to make um to make that just look a little zigzaggy um lots of journaling room here again this was just a piece of um, one of the pages and I just turned that into like a little flippy thing that you can do lots of journaling on that's just on coffee dyed paper and um, some of the papers actually got the little pizza pan marks pockets here I used one of my little clusters to make a little pocket there that is from the kit as well put pop that onto a little tag it goes in there another collage tag that I made and I need to cut that little bit of string off. <laughs> um, center of a signature. Another little pocket with a little tag. And this little tag is from the kit as well. Inside there we have another uh, tag fabrication tag and an image from Artie Maze. These, um, what do you call them? labels they're a freebie from Artie Mays you can find them on her website or on her Facebook group um, this is from one of Andrea's kits I can't remember which one it is I just backed that onto some paper and then here I had a scrap piece of paper so I just made like a, a, a trifoldy thing I was going to make an envelope and then I thought no because then you can journal inside there and that is on the back just held on with a paper clip and that just pops in it can pop in there actually oops a uh, cabinet card another tag tag fabrication image arty maze label arty maze word arty maze another pocket and here is some little tiny tickets and another tag that I made. I didn't want to go in. <laughs> and a collection of little pieces of ephemera. Um, I've got something similar, but I'm not sure if that's mine or not. But I think mine's is actually on a bigger receipt. I can't remember. Might be if it's not mine, it's Artie Mays. And you got that to journal on. another little cluster thing here and this and that is Artie Maze and the image is Artie Maze and another tag here we've just got a side tuck and again there's a cluster on there fingers don't want to work got some vintage music paper um, that's a freebie from Artie Mays. There's some digital paper there, some book page, the word hopeful, um, tag from the old design shop on Etsy, double journaling card, another tuck here with a, um, extra piece of thread. <laughs> These scissors are rubby. These are my paper scissors. Um, this is Artie Mays. Um, again, all this is Artie Mays. It's another collage tag and that is the back so that whoops that is a little journal it's actually quite heavy for a little journal i think it's because i used a lot of cardstock in it as well for the tags um like i said there is a discount code which will be below and uh, the discount code you will put in whilst you're in my shop before you go to PayPal and sorry but I won't be doing like if you don't put the code in and you purchase it you you make a purchase and um you know afterwards I'm not I, I can't refund because to send the refund through that transaction it actually charges me so then I lose more 
as well so please use the code if you're going to use anything um use anything buy anything and all the digis are at 99 pence so um any questions about the journal just ask hope you're all having a great day and i will speak to you all soon bye